It's no secret that we could use some rain here in our state. It has been extremely dry lately, but it hasn't just happened overnight. So joining us now with more on this is Dr. Eric Hunt, a climatologist at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Thanks for being here today, Eric. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about the drought monitor. I know we see it each week here on Pure Nebraska. We see it every Thursday. Hasn't looked very good lately. I know there's just a little section in far southwest Nebraska that doesn't have the drought conditions, but I'm sure that's gonna change. So let's talk about how we got to this position. Sure, well you need two things to produce precipitation. I'm simplifying things here, but uh, you need atmospheric flow and dynamics and you need a good source of moisture. Uh, we have not had either one of those things here in any meaningful way for really the last couple of months. Certainly the last 30 to 45 days, this has been acutely dry across the entire north central part of the country, uh, including pretty much all of Nebraska. Mm -hmm. uh, there are places in northeast Nebraska that have not had a drop of rain since August. Wow. Wow, so maybe we should look at the drought monitor and you could reference maybe what we're seeing a little bit. Uh, have things gotten better? Have they gotten worse? Oh, they've gotten worse. They've gotten significantly worse. Uh, this is probably one of the fastest degradations I've ever seen in this part of the country this late in the season. Usually if we see this type of rapid intensification where we have two and three category degradations over a six week time period, usually that occurs like in June, July, and August. This has occurred in the fall, climatological fall. And we now have over, well over half the state in actual drought, D1 or worse. Uh, and we have going on probably 45% of the state is in severe drought. And I think we have a portion of, or more of 46 counties in the state in drought, severe drought right now. So for farmers who depend on the water and the rainfall and the weather conditions, what does that mean for them long term? Well, we really will need uh, significant precipitation at some point this fall to get uh, some moisture back in the profile because one of the most telltale signs of the recent dryness has been we've just seen a rapid depletion of soil moisture uh, pretty much everywhere in the state and we've lost over half of the top part of the profile. Uh, pretty much almost everywhere in Nebraska. Most of the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, similar story. And you know, until we really start getting some meaningful rainfall back in here, we're going to see those soils remain really dry. And you know, my recommendation would be if you have cover crops or winter wheat, you have the ability to irrigate, you might, you probably will actually want to put on an inch or so of water to make sure that you actually establish a stand uh, before we go into the winter. And the video we just saw right there, that's an example of a soil dryness around the region. It is, so there's a soil moisture percentiles map that I like to produce from a NASA sport list. And it basically shows you like for, rep, for that point in time of year, how dry are you relative to average? And we have seen soil moisture percentiles below the 10th percentile for most of the state now for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And it is a really rapid change for what we saw earlier in the year. We were very, very wet across a lot, especially the Eastern uh, half of the state earlier in the summer. And we've just seen a real rapid change here in the last few months. Mm, okay. So Eric, if people want to know more and maybe get some resources on the drought here in the state, where can they go? Sure, well, certainly the drought monitor, uh, droughtmonitor.unl.edu is the, always will have the latest drought monitor. And of course, the state climate office uh, will have uh, resources. And then the University of Nebraska Extension's got quite a few resources. Uh, Crop Watch is probably a good place to go to find some uh, articles on how to maybe uh, better manage for conditions like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, All okay. Right. Good information, thanks for coming in. Thank you. You mm -hmm. bet, okay. And